Welcome back to ARA University. My name is Craig Van Battenberg. We're going to talk in this segment about the parts on hybrid vehicles that are not on conventional automobiles. We'll start with the nickel metal hydride battery pack. It's the thing that's in the back of the car that has a whole lot of individual battery cells, much like if you had a really long flashlight where you put in about 17 D cells and power that thing up, that would be a series system of getting that, that flashlight nice and bright by adding one cell on top of another. That's exactly what we're doing in nickel metal hydride battery packs. But we're adding 120 to 250 batteries into one pack. There's 120 little flashlight looking type batteries and made of nickel metal hydride composition in a Honda Insight and 250 of these type batteries on a Ford Escape and then a varying amount depending on what what car we're talking about. When the battery pack is inside the car it is still fully charged up and in some cases has 100 amps and 350 volts. Now let me tell you how much it takes to kill you. It takes about 60 volts and a quarter of an amp to be lethal. So now we're talking 100 amps instead of a quarter of an amp and we're talking 350 volts and not just 60 volts. So needless to say this is one of the most dangerous parts of the car. It's going to be in some type of container, either a plastic container, a black one that has the Honda type, and an aluminum container that would be the Ford with a plastic bottom, or a big steel container that Toyota uses. But all of them have a label that says, do not remove this cover or you will die. Believe that label. So when you're taking these battery packs out, there's going to be some safety procedures we'll discuss in another segment on how to be sure there's no voltage coming out of the battery pack. And when you handle it, you're going to have some rubber gloves on, some special rubber gloves with leather protectors to remove it around and get it where it's supposed to be stored. We'll also talk a little bit later on about where you're going to store this battery pack. It has certain storage conditions that must be met. So that's the battery pack. The second part of the car that can hurt you and kill you is something called a capacitor. Now typically we have three capacitors inside every hybrid vehicle. It's a big filter. It stores electricity. And it also has enough amperage and voltage to kill you. In fact, it's a little bit more lethal because it can release that voltage and amperage faster than the battery pack can. Now, 99% of the time, a capacitor is discharged when the car is shut off. But a little bit later on, we explain to you where you can hook up a test meter and what type of meter to be sure the capacitors are at zero volts before you touch them with your bare hands. Those are the only two real dangerous parts. Now, there's other parts as well. We have a DC to DC converter, which is very simple. That's the alternator. It's going to take and do what the alternator used to do and provide us with 12 volts to run the 12 volt system. We have an inverter. The inverter is a very interesting job. It does what an alternator also used to do on a conventional vehicle to take AC voltage and turn it to DC, but it also does it in reverse. Uh, expensive, water cooled or air cooled because it gets really hot. That's called an inverter. Then we've got two cooling systems on some of these vehicles. They'll have two cooling systems, which means we have two water pumps, two radiators, two of everything, because I have to cool down a transmission and some other devices with water. I've got high voltage cables that transfers all the electricity around. They're usually orange or bright blue. I've got AC drive motors either in the transmission or next to it to drive the car, electric power steering to get rid of the fluid, regenerative braking, which is not what you think. We'll cover that a little bit more later on, and electric AC compressors. So watch that AC compressor because it may have orange cables going in it. If it does, there's another potential there for getting shocked. So those are our parts that we have on, con on the hybrid vehicles. We don't have on conventional vehicles. You need to get used to their terms and their function so you can serve the people that are calling you and ship out the right parts. There'll be more, so stay tuned.